हेलो फ्रेंड्स वेलकम टू सुरेश अग्रवाल मैथमेटिक्स शॉर्टकट्स स्क्वायर रूट्स लुक स्केरी राइट बट इफ यू नो सम ऑफ द स्मार्ट ट्रिक्स फॉर फाइंडिंग द स्क्वायर रूट्स वेरी क्विकली देन सिंप्लीफिकेशन प्रॉब्लम्स इन्वॉल्विंग स्क्वायर रूट्स विल बिकम इजी फॉर यू सो इन दिस वीडियो आई एम गोइंग टू टेक अप सम ऑफ द प्रीवियस ईयर क्वेश्चन इन विच बिग स्क्वायर रूट्स वर इन्वॉल्व एंड यू विल सी हाउ द नॉलेज ऑफ बेसिक कॉन्सेप्ट एंड बेसिक टिप्स एंड ट्रिक्स of square roots will help you in getting to the objective type that is multiple choice questions very very quickly and effectively so watch the entire video you have something to learn here if you have not clicked the subscribe button please do it now and don't forget to click the bell shaped icon so that you keep on getting all the notifications on your mobile at the very instant i upload them on youtube so here i go the first question for the video look at this question now if somebody uh, you know feels scared when you have to find the square root of 1444 and 5184 now it's obviously going to be a headache but knowledge of smart tricks now that's what i keep on focusing on and if you know how to find the square root of 1144 so right here square root of 1444 sorry and the square root of 5184 then the problem is not at all difficult so how do i do this the last pair ends in 4 so my answer ends in 2 because 2 square is 4 or my answer ends in 8 because 8 square is 64 which ends in 4 the first tablet here is 14 under 14 the nearest perfect square is 3 square 9 so 3 occupies the tens place so either your answer is 32 or your answer is 38 now to find out which one is the correct answer you can take the square of the intermediate number that is 35 so 35 square 3 fours are 12 and 25 now 1 4 4 is more than this right and therefore the larger one is the square so this is 38 likewise 5 184 again it ends in 2 or it ends in 8 51 The closest square is seven, so seven square forty-nine, so seven and seven. Now the intermediate number seventy-five, so seventy-five square seven eights are fifty-six, followed by twenty-five. Now you can see this number is smaller than this, so the smaller one that is seventy-two is the answer for the question. And now twenty-two times what? Now the sum of these two is hundred and ten, and hundred and ten divided by this number twenty-two will give you the question mark. and the answer happens to be 5 so c is the correct answer now this is the trick you should know how to find the square roots of four digit numbers very very quickly right now likewise if you have a question here now you can see some imperfect squares there 3100 is not a perfect square similarly 567 and 250 they are not perfect squares Hmm. So manipulation is going to work here. Approximation is going to work here. So answer need not be like exactly correct because he has given some answers as whole numbers here. So let me try to approximate this question. Here we have square root of three one zero zero times the square root of five sixty seven and divided by so upon uh, the square root of two fifty and. Uh, on the right hand side you have something divided by 8 right now i think there is a zero which is getting cancelled here and square root of 25 oh square root of 25 is 5 right and i can bring the 8 also to the left so the question mark will be square root of 310 times the square root of 567 times this number 8 and in the denominator you have this 5 now let's approximate this Let's increase this a bit. Like three ten. What is the nearest perfect square? Three hundred and twenty four is eighteen, right? So I'll write this as approximately eighteen. And if I increase this slightly, what will be my answer? Five seventy six is very. Uh, I think that's a perfect square. Five seventy six is twenty four square. So I'll write approximate this as twenty four times eight upon five. See if I take This as eighteen. Actually, the square root of three ten is less than eighteen, right? Because three twenty four uh, is larger. And similarly, here square root of five sixty seven will be less than twenty four. So my answer 
is actually coming out to be little big. However, it is not that big. It is slightly less than that. Okay, keep that in mind. So now I need to just multiply uh, somehow multiply this and get to an answer. So I think I'll do twice here so that I get a ten in the denominator. And then eighteen four times is seventy two. So seven thirty six plus seven forty three times sixteen upon ten. And how much is that? Sixteen two times is thirty two. So three. This is forty eight fifty one one five. And sixty four plus five sixty nine. And divide by ten means here. So six ninety one point two is the answer I am getting. But mind you, my answer is less than that, right? Because the numbers are smaller than what I approximated. So which one is the closest one and below six ninety one? Hmm, six ninety three. Or these three are ruled out because these are larger. So the nearest is six hundred and seventy, and that should be the correct answer. Approximations they work for us here. Okay, let's see another one. Here we have five digit numbers now. Now similar to the previous question, the first question which I took up here also I can approximate. See forty nine ends in uh, what nine. So my answer ends in three, or my answer ends in seven because seven square is forty nine. Now the remaining part is four twenty eight, which is the nearest perfect square below four twenty eight. Four forty one is twenty one, so four hundred, right? Four hundred is twenty square, so I write a twenty here, a twenty here. So my answer is either two zero three or two zero five. In between that, I have two zero five. Twenty into twenty one is four twenty and twenty five. So which one is the answer? Four two eight four nine is greater than this, right? And so the greater one, two zero seven. Is the first part of my answer this one? Now the second part, uh, five four seven five six. So ending in six means either ending in four or ending in six itself. Okay, so now I have five forty seven. So five forty seven. Which one is the closest square? Twenty two four eighty four. Twenty three five twenty nine. Right. So twenty three and twenty three. So either two thirty four or two thirty six. Now you can perform the same task, taking the intermediate number two thirty five square and comparing it with this number. You will find that two thirty four is the perfect answer for the second part. So in between we have plus here, so this becomes plus two thirty four, and then we have a square root, which comes like this. And I think that's it. So your answer will be square root of what? This is four hundred and forty one. Oh, four hundred and forty one. Pretty easy there. Twenty-one square is four hundred and forty-one, and your answer for the question is twenty-one. See, friends, finding the square root—that is the trick here. And if you can do that mentally, wonderful. Let's see the last question for this video. Here we have square root of three eight four one six. So let's do it again. Sixteen means ending in four or ending in six. Three eighty-four. Now. Below three hundred and eighty-four, which one is the perfect square? See, twenty square is four hundred, so nineteen square, three sixty-one, so nineteen and nineteen. Now, intermediate number is one ninety-five. How do you do one ninety-five square? Nineteen into the next number twenty is three eighty, followed by a twenty-five. And now compare this number and this number. This is greater, so my answer is the greater one, one hundred and ninety-six. Now the square root part, this part is one hundred and ninety-six. So what is the question? Fifth root of the square root of this one ninety-six raised to power five by two. Now what do you mean by fifth root? Fifth root means the base raised to power one by five, and there is another power five by two. So five gets cancelled. So you have one ninety-six raised to power half. And that is square root of 196, and we all know square root of 196 is 14. And there we go. The answer for the question is again A. Now see smart tricks and smart things to do. Otherwise, if you do factorization of these big numbers like 38, 4, 1, 6, and some other numbers which we have taken up here, 4, 2, 8, 4, 9, 5, 4, 7, 5, 6, it's going to consume you know ages solving these questions. So smart tricks are what you require, and simplification problems will not be a trouble for any one of you. So friends, if you like this video, do share it with all your friends on your WhatsApp groups and various social media platforms. 
and do not forget to practice 10 20 such questions you know to feel more comfortable all the best for your practice